Well, we are now approaching the last presentation of this afternoon session, and this is a presentation of Emmanuel Ela, and I would like to switch uh, to my co-chairman now, to Arno. Arno, please take over. Uh, yeah, thank so, you, Harald. Yeah, okay. Take over and introduce Emmanuel Ela, who will present his, with PhD student at uh, Sergi, Paris Sergi University. Sorry and uh, he's going to present his, his work about the durability mix design on mechanical behavior on concrete made with crushed and uh, river sand. So Emmanuel, you can start your presentation. Good evening to everybody. I'm Emmanuel Elat, I'm a PhD student at CYCG Paris University uh, in consider with the University of Yaron de Wuhan in Cameroon. My presentation will be on mechanical and mineralogical characteristics of mortar with crushion and river sand. So concerning the context, uh, we can say that uh, river sand is a material widely used in the, con in the construction of civil engineering infrastructure. However, extraction become expensive and limited because of environmental protection. Besides, some river sand are low in thin particles, which are necessary to reduce the pores of the concrete and reduce the granular continuity between cement and gravels for better cohesion of concrete. In Cameroon, the exploitation of rock has considerably increased in recent years with the development of, with the use of crushing sand, which are, which are used in the, as an alternative to replace the river sand in the formulation of concrete and mortars. But uh, there are very few scientific studies and very few recommendations on the use of this material in the mixed design of concrete and mortars. The, the, Approach method adopted in this work consists in the physical and mechanical characteristics of sands and of crushing sand and from the from three carriers located in Yaoundé in Cameroon. The mixing procedure is the equivalent concrete mortars method. We focus on, on mortars corresponding to 100%, 50%, and 0% of river and crushed sand. The composition and driving stretch and the water porosity were measured on concrete specimen compared by micro microstructural characteristics using X, F, D, D, T, G, and same examination. Now I will present the materials used. All materials, as I said, are coming from Cameroon. All mixtures were prepared using ordinary cement, same to 42.5 from Dangote Company. For all mixture, the cement contents and the water times cement ratio were kept constant at uh, 350 kilograms per cubic meter and 0.6 respectively. The, Rating use for the sand. We have SE corresponding to the sand from the Gracam from the Arab contractors carrier, SG from the Gracam carrier, SR from the Hazel carrier, and SS is from the river carrier, from the river sand. Now we are present the implementation of those carriers with the system of exploitation of ropes. The mineralogical composition of sand is determined by its ray diffraction. The diffractogram show in this figure of show that uh, all crushing sand has the same main and secondary faces, but the river sand is essentially composed by uh, quarks by by quarks biotite and feldspat. The chemical composition of sands is made by its right fluorescence. 
we can see that all sands are mainly composed by silica. But uh, river, but river sand has all crescent sand has uh, more 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 silica than the river sand. Same exam, same image show that gravel sh shape are quarry of quarry are particular com compared to river sand from the EDX spectra. The, dif the difference in the height of peak show that show the difference in the chemical composition of the river sand compared to the crucian sand. Concerning the physical property, we can see that the rate of fain varies from 1.4 to SS, the, the, the river sand, and to 8.3 for the uh, crucian sand. We can also see that the sun equivalent is more than 80%, corresponding to the high degree of cleaning of sand, but which may, may cause risk of plasticity defect. Concerning the granulometric analysis, we, pre we can see that the granulometric of cushion sun has the grain size of has a grain size who is spread compared to the river sand, which the grain size is uniform. Now I'm presenting the, the composition of mortars. In the, we, just we just focus on the formulation corresponding to mortars with 50% of river sand and 50% of uh, crushed sand, 100% of crushed sand and 100% of uh, river sand. As we said, the cement contents was keep constant for all mix for all, all mixture, and the water was also keep constant. Concerning the, the compressive and bending strength, we we obtain that. The river sand mortars has a very low compressive strength and bending strength compared to the mortars made with crushing sand. The, so we can say that the replacing of river sand by crushing sand at 50% and 100% increase significantly the mechanical strength of mortars. The same observation is made at at 90 days of curing, the compressive strain value increased by 54.5% for, 54 for uh, river for mortar made with 100% of river sand, 50% uh, for mortar uh, made by the mixture of 50% of the, those sands. And only 37.8% uh, for mortar with 400% of uh, crushing sand from the from 20 from the 28 days to 40 to the 9 to 90 days of cooling. Concerning the dry the drying shrinkage. Now this we, we present the evolution of the drying, the drying sinkage of the mortars uh, at uh, 28 days, and we present here the value obtained. We can we can say that the amplacing of crushing sand at 50 percent and 100 percent increase the dry the drying sinkage of mortars at. 28 days curing for 12.44 and 26.65 percent respectively comparatively for, for mortar with 100 percent of river sand. This is due to the content of fin 
particle in the corrosion sun. So most we have a fin in the part in the concrete in the mortars. Uh, the driving sinkage is is low is up. Now we present the water the water porosity. We can observe that the emplacement of river sand by crushing sand at 50% and 100% disgrace the water porosity value compared to the crushing sand. The same results show that the structure of crushing sand mortar is more homogeneous with very few pore compared to the reviews to the river sand mortars. And we can observe the formation of micro crack on the mortars composed with, with um, river sand. The X, the X, the air partner of mortars are shown in this, in this figure. The analysis show that after cement addition, a few change of the height of peak can be observed on the on the on from the sun from the sun partner to the mortar pattern. This variation is enters for the crushing sun than the uh, river sun. The zoom present can make us have this con this this. Conclusion: The XDR partner confirmed the presence the appearance of a small peak of calcite in mortars as well as postlandite. The formation of cal of calcite comes from the carbonization of portlandite. Cell. There, we can also observe that the consumption of the port of portlandite was identified by the reduction of the intensity of the peak. Now about the thermogravimetric analysis. We observe that the analysis show that the total mass loss of mortars with 100% of river sand is simply lower than the mortar with 100% of crescent sun. Furthermore, uh, gravimetric analysis revealed that the introduction of crescent sun did not impact strongly the, the cementious phases development. Etrangite and CSH or Polandite cement from thermal analysis are similar in tested mortars. White a small, a slight difference in carbonation apparent with a low carbonation with crushing sand than compared to to the water porosity. In conclusion, we can say that the the results show that 100% river sand mortars was high pore porous with the, with low compressive strain at 28 days. They use so the use of crushing sand at at fifty percent and one hundred percent in the formulation of mortar increase the mechanical strain and disgrace the water porosity. However, crushing sand mortars has a higher driving strength due to the high contents of fin particles. Besides a etrangite and CSH and Portlandite contents are similar in tested mortars. Some, some test ex, uh, results show that the structure of the crushing sand mortars is more homogeneous and less porous than the river sand mortars. So what we can say is from this, from this work is that we advise to combine river sand and crushing sand at 50% mixture to the formulation of mortars. 
This work is a, is a part of valorization of the use of Christian sand in the construction sector. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Emmanuel, for your presentation. I have some questions because I'm quite surprised about you, the results you presented. Um, for me, river sand is not known to introduce a lot of problems uh, in mortar for compressive strength. And for me, uh, crush sand introduced some problem and you have shown the, the contrary. So I have some questions about that. Um, have you measured the density of your samples? Yeah. And have you found some differences between uh, the different mortars? The, the mortars with caution sand is higher than the mortar with uh, with uh, river sand. But um, more just a little. You, you have not talked uh, about uh, workability, and uh, I wonder if it's uh, workability issues that lead to uh, the difference in densities and uh, then in mechanical strength. We make uh, workability on, on, on concrete, on, on concrete. We see that uh, more, more we have a uh, uh, caution sand in the concrete less the 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 workability is so i mean uh, the use of of crushing sand in the concrete uh, reduce reduce the workability of concrete okay but i think you should compare the mechanical strength of your different mortars at the same densities because i think it's not the effect of the sand by itself, but perhaps just because you have a less dense medium on the less dense cement path. Oh. What do you think of that? Perhaps um, the problem comes from your matrix, and perhaps uh, not from the aggregate by itself, and you have a less dense matrix with uh, the sample you made with the river sand, and that you should have compared the mechanical strength at uh, same density. Okay, but in our hypothesis, we 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 take we we keep constant the cement content and the the water cement ratio for all measure. And I I have not understand why you have varied. Uh, the sand content. If you go back to the table you presented about the mixed design, you haven't the same sand content uh, for all the, um, the studied mortars. The, the objective was to, to see, the, to evaluate the, the impact, the effect of crushing sand on the workability, as you said, and and the, the, the compressive strength. So that's why we keep those, cons those parameters co constant for all mi mixture. But why uh, is the sound content different? But because of, we, 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 are, we, 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 we saw that the, the 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 structure the for the structure of this the mortar with river sand was was too porous so that's why uh, the the compressive strength of the mortar with 100 percent of river sand was too uh, low than the mortar with the question sand Okay. And, um, did you uh, measure the water absorption of the different types of uh, sand? No, we did not make measure it. 
do you think that uh, it can have a significant impact on the behavior of your motor? Yeah, yeah, I think I think it can be it can have an impact. But uh, as I said, uh, the as the objective was to evaluate the effect of the the caution sign on the 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 characteristic the characteristic of motors. We keep constant those parameters, as I said. But, uh, have you have you seen, seen also some differences uh, in the morphology of the sound particles? Yeah. And it, when you are dealing with mixed design of uh, concrete, you are also working on the packing of aggregates, and it's only uh, linked to the morphology of the sound particles. And uh, have you tried to to have a look at that? No, I did not. Because it can, um, it can really change the workability. It can really change uh, the density of the medium. And we have also a question from what? the audience, um, from Jean-Michel Torrenti, who asks, how do you explain the big changes in the porosity? The, the different... The, the the explanation is about the is because the river sun is poor on thin particles. That's why the 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 structure of mortar is very uh, porous. Yeah, but we when we are doing some standard mortar in France or in Europe, we are having a river sand which is a uh, quite uh, clean and there is no problem of uh, of porosity with such sun that's why I'm quite surprised that's why I said in the context that uh, there there are some there are some river sun that are very poor on uh, thin particles so in this in this work we want to we wanted to to recommend to to command that when river sand don't have uh, uh, some quantity of of thin particle it will be have a consequence on the physical and mechanical uh, as uh, okay so I, I have perhaps a last question before asking others um, you have a uses uh, XRD on gravimetric analysis. And uh, I, I wonder how you can link this analysis to the change in uh, compressive strength you have measured. Okay. So, uh, as, as, as I said, the, the explanation of the result of the, the low result of the resist of the uh, Compressive strain can be explained by the fact that concrete, um, concrete with river sand or river sand don't ha have very few part of uh, thin element. So the structure was very poor, porous. But the, we, 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 we have seen that there is not a big difference in the in the XRD partner of mortars and in with the the DPG analysis when we use river sand and uh, the and uh, compared to to cushion sand. I mean the use of cushion sand do, did not have a real a a, a, a big impact, a big influence, a big effect on the mortars. Okay, thank you, Emmanuel. So maybe uh, Harald or Joao have, have, have another question for you? Well, I would like to give a short comment.
comment, uh, and I think, Emmanuel, uh, uh, thank you first for your presentation, which is an interesting uh, approach, but some of your results uh, causes some questions. And uh, I have similar problems as uh, Arnaud. And uh, for the point, if I compare the river sand with the crushed sand uh, from a chemical and from a mineralogical point of view, there is only one big difference. Now, this is uh, the content of uh, SeO2, this is quartzite. But quartzite is normally quite dense and has a pretty high strength. So uh, uh, this contrasts uh, with your results. And on the other hand, if you look to your slides, which you have shown us on the left-hand side, you showed uh, the, the differences in compressive strengths which uh, has been a little bit questioned by Arno. On the other, on the right hand side, you showed the shrinkage behavior and your explanation uh, for the low strength was the porosity yeah. of uh, the river sand. Then the shrinkage uh, should all also be quite different because shrinkage is very sensitive to porosity. Now, this is a decisive param parameter for shrinkage and your shrinkage curves are quite close together. So I think you should check a little bit again yeah, uh, where these uh, somewhat strange results uh, come from. Uh, it is not quite clear uh, to me and uh, was also not quite clear uh, to Arno. But this is a thing you can still do yeah, to check. Uh, you have heard our questions and I think uh, they will help you no, to uh, go to the background and uh, to understand uh, what are the mechanisms no, for for these results. Okay, thank you very much. But what I thank you very much uh, for all what you said. Uh, uh, what I want to precise is that uh, the result obtained on uh, mortars is a little difference with uh, the result with the concrete. Yes, of course, there is a difference, uh, but the basic tendencies now are similar. Some things are a little bit more pronounced, no? uh, but the basic tendencies uh, are, are, are similar. Okay, I think uh, we can stop here discussion now. We had an intensive discussion on your uh, work so far, and uh, I have seen that you are, the PhD students are in a very good way uh, uh, approaching their PhD and uh, good luck uh, to them.